Hello, and welcome to the Pervert's Guide to Art Criticism, where we discuss art in order to better understand ourselves and the value of creative expression. Or we just make ourselves feel better. I'd rather give you a hug. By ruthlessly criticizing other people's creative expressions. Because we're cunts. Hello, and welcome to the Pervert's Guide to Art Criticism. Today, we're back at the Brisbane Goma to discuss an elephant in the room. And this elephant is all the more conspicuous because it's covered in jizz. The sculpture that we're going to discuss today is called The Skin Speaks a Language, Not Its Own by artist Barty Kerr. It's a fiberglass elephant that's life-size and kind of dying, and it's covered in thousands of tiny white bindies. Bindies. which are traditionally worn on a woman's forehead to represent the third eye or the gateway to the source of all creation and enlightenment. Now, I've never personally worn a bindi, but I can say that I often feel sort of full of the potentiality of the universe and all creation when my forehead is covered in sperm. This thing is impressive. The sculpture itself is very well crafted and the meticulous placement of the sperm on its skin has created all the illusion of almost a sort of soft fur all over the object. It lifts the surface of the static elephant to a completely different experience of texture and movement. Now traditionally, to place a bindi on a woman's forehead is to bridge a gap between the infinite potentiality of the immaterial world and the finite material world or the fertile woman. Similarly, by shooting a load of cum into somebody's cervix, we can take 40 million infinite immaterial potentials and turn them into one screaming material reality. But it isn't easy to bear the responsibility of turning that potentiality into a material thing. Whether it be a new project or a loving family or you know, career aspiration, because it requires sacrifice and work. We all love potentiality because it, unlike reality, never shits its pants or tells us we're not good enough. I, for example, spend hours a day dreaming of one day in the future when I'm making artwork instead of, you know, just making artwork because that would actually require doing something. I also, Imagine that somebody perfect will just love me unconditionally while, you know, sort of quietly neglecting the loving relationships that I already have out of fear or laziness. I think this sculpture could represent this very sacrifice. In order to experience new possibilities, we have to experience the death of what we already know. Though this sacrifice could be scary or lonely or sad, in our commitment to create something new, something far greater could be born, like the internet or electricity. Looking at this sculpture feels like walking a tightrope between the sadness of loss and the excitement of new potential. The inanimate form of the dying elephant is eclipsed by the beauty of the sperm all over its back. But without this sacrifice, that potential is a bit more like jizz kind of spraying off the tits of our society. If you take away the elephant, all you're left with is a pile of sperm, just kind of confused and reckless that needs to be mopped up with somebody's dirty sock. So I guess what I'm really saying here is that pulling out and spraying jizz all over somebody's belly is kind of like the ultimate metaphor for avoiding responsibility. As I lay in my bed dreaming of being an artist instead of being an artist, I'm like a Friday night booty call, just sort of handcuffed to the bed by the gravity of time as potentiality hovers above me and just smothers me in cum. Now the reason that this sculpture is so powerful is because of the artist's careful attention to form, patience, and perseverance in bringing this thing into life. It's the exemplification of order and chaos, of form and potentiality. It's a cervix 
rather than a belly button full of jizz. So to summarize, the infinite combinations of potential life that could have been realized in a belly button full of jizz are just as mind bending as the delicate formulations of sperm on a fiberglass elephant, but decidedly less powerful because they are imaginary and the elephant is not. Perhaps anything is technically possible in the realm of ideas, but just like in sex, things can only truly come to life if the creator accepts the responsibility to bring it into the world. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Mm -hmm.